Hi everyone, welcome back to Elephant Deco. Today we are going to be making some cute design aqua resin trays. So this is the tray that we are going to be making in this video. It has really cute um, monster leaf designs. And in our last aqua resin video where we did the dusting with the hollow dust, we used the same dusting here. But this time I used a stencil to uh, dust on the designs. I made these stencils with cardstock out of um, Cricut, out of my Cricut. And you don't need a stencil for this, but I am terrible at drawing, so the stencils really help me out a lot. If you want to freehand your designs, you can certainly do that too. But I will show you how I make the trays with the stencils, so let's get started. For this project, we are using this tray mold that I purchased from Amazon. Here are the stencils that I made out of cardstock. They were cut on my Cricut and they're not the highest quality, but they should work. To dust the designs, we have these Hyper Hollows from Solar Color Dust. I am going with the lime and gold because I thought they'd be perfect for the monster leaves. The first thing we are going to do is mix up some aqua resin. We are mixing up about 250 grams of materials total to create this tray and our mix ratio is 1 part L liquid to 3.5 parts S3 powder. So the amount for each part used in this project is about 55 grams of liquid and 195 grams of powder. The instructed ratio is 1 part liquid to 3 parts powder but I found this 1 to 3.5 ratio very helpful for reducing the bubbles in the final piece. This tip was also found on the Aqua Resin website. Now we have both parts measured out and I want a light terracotta color for the background of this tray so I will add a little bit of this terracotta pigment from Jasmineite into the mixture. Then I'll use the electric mixer to fully mix the Aqua Resin. The electric mixer is highly recommended because it will greatly reduce white spots on your final piece due to unmixed powder. It also gets rid of lumps since the powder is completely mixed in. I use the mixer for 1-2 to two minutes and I make sure I get all the sides and the bottom as well. Once our mix is done, you will see how smooth the mixture is compared to before. Now we will set this aside and design our tray. Aqua Resin has about a 30 minute work time so we better work quick with the dusting. Make sure to clean off any dust or dirty spots on your mold beforehand so it's not casted in your piece. I am just using blue tape for this. Here I am trying to tape down the cardstock thinking it would help with the dusting, but it didn't. Then again, I am also just using something I made out of cardstock. Maybe next time I will use a stencil film because those are slightly tacky. To dust the pigments, we are just using a regular paintbrush. I didn't really have a plan for the design, so we're just kind of going with the flow. The pigments were spreading a lot more than I expected, so what we ended up doing here is kind of ombre leaves. The outside of the leaves are gold and the inside is the lime green. The outline didn't turn out that bad considering how the paper was lifting a lot. We're using a stencil here because I am terrible at drawing. Maybe I will improve with the projects that we are doing here. For now, the stencils are definitely a good way to create consistent designs and pieces. Apologies here for constantly getting in the focus of the camera. I will definitely be more mindful in future videos. Okay, so we finished our dusting and this is what it looks like. The last one did not turn out that nice, but it is what it is. Now we will just pour our mixed aqua resin into the mold. To help with the bubbles, tap the sides of the mold and carefully lift the mold a tad so it hits the table. 
This mold isn't too sturdy so you can't just lift the whole thing up and drop it, but that would be ideal. Now we'll just let this sit for an hour and a half to cure and be back to demold it. I am super excited to see how this turns out because that means we can make so many different design trays. Okay, this isn't the most beautiful thing in the world, but it doesn't look bad at all. I can totally picture future trays made with beautiful stencils. I'll have to take these outside into the sun to see if I can capture that holographic effect, but I really love the aesthetic. A little bit of shine on the matte finish trays. It would definitely look really nice if I could get the leaves neater, but this is the very first piece. We will definitely practice a lot more with these and hopefully see some improvement. I wanted to show this off out in the sunlight so it's brighter, but there was no sun all day so we're doing this indoors and luckily we were able to capture this beautiful holographic effect. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found this interesting and helpful. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments what you want to see next. I'll see you next time.